Hello everyone. In this particular video, we will be discussing about the basic data types in Python. So the data type, as the name suggests, refers to the classification or the type of data stored inside the data item. These are the different data types available in Python. So if we are dealing with numeric data, we have integer data type, load data type and complex data type for complex number. Then we have the bool or boolean data type which consists of two values that is true and false. Then again we have sets, we have dictionary and then we have sequences. Under sequences we have string, lists and tuples. Since in this video we will be dealing only with the basic data type so we will be studying about integer, float, complex, string and boolean data types. We will cover sets, dictionary, lists and tuples in the upcoming videos. Now let us see each of these data types with the help of examples. As we have seen that there are three numeric data types that is integer to represent integer values, then we have float to represent the decimal values and then we have the complex to represent the complex numbers. So if I define a variable a equals to a number 5 and if I check the data type of this variable. Now to check the data type of a variable we use the function type. If I pass the value a inside this function I'll get the data type of the variable a which is int or integer. Now if I define a variable b equals to say 5.4 and if I check the data type of this variable, I'll get the data type as float. Similarly, we can define complex numbers in Python as well. So complex numbers are defined as real part plus j times the imaginary part. So we can describe a complex variable c as say 5 plus 6 j. Since this number consists of a real part that is 5 and an imaginary part that is 6, on checking the type of this variable, I should get the type as complex. And here I get the type as complex for this variable. The next data type that we are going to see is bool. So bool can take either of the two values that is true or false. Say if I define a variable d equals to true and if I check the type of d, I will get it as bool. So this is a boolean data type. Now you might be having a doubt that is it possible to convert from one data type to another. So the answer is yes. Yes we can convert from one data type to another data type using type casting. So for example if I have a variable a equals to say 7.2. As we can see, A has a decimal value. So it is of type float. Now I need to convert it into integer. What I can do is I can typecast the value of A to integer. To typecast, I'll be using a function int. So I pass A into this function. And now if I check the type of B, I'll get it as int. Similarly, I can also convert Boolean into integer. Suppose I have a variable c equals to false and I need to convert it into integer. So I will type int c and I get the value as 0. So when we convert a boolean into integer, true is converted to 1 and false is converted to 0. So that was about boolean data type. Now let us see another data type that is string. So a string is used to store characters or sentences and can be created using single, double or triple quotes. Suppose I have a variable a equals to hello. Now if I check type of the variable a, I will get the output as str that is string. So a is a string data type. We can represent a string not only in single quotes but also in double and triple quotes. So we can write a equals to 
hello or a equals to again within double quotes hello or a equals to within triple quotes hello all three of them represents string data type so a string can be represented either in single double or triple quotes in python so in this video we have covered the integer float complex boolean and string data types and we shall discuss the remaining data types in upcoming videos if you like the video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel